Right yeah, tubers, another quick update. Update number one, I finally have this power wall, so my second power wall up and running. Uh, it's DC to DC, there's no AC on this one. Uh, we've got a little charge control up there, the little MPT7210A. Uh, going all right, it's, it's not what I sort of expected from the unit, but then again it is sort of budget. Uh, it's actually drawing about uh, 0.8, 0.8, 0.9 amps from the batteries, and it's been doing that for a quite a few days now without a single problem I got a sort of a tried to change my workflow a little bit here to make it a little bit more common sense uh, now the power wall is actually running uh, through the Andersons through a 50 amp breaker uh, through some silicon cables up into the 48 volt to 12 volt now that is from the battery hasher because well it's not worth mining anymore at the moment and that is powering both the little opus and the night core charger and also the eye charger uh, with time it will also do the IMAX as well, but I don't really need it at the moment because I've only got the one opus and I have a lot of already charged cells that are resting so I can do the voltages before I put them in to see if they're self-discharged and the completed packs. I've been having a really good run lately with lots and lots of 24s and 25s coming out of my, out of my opus. Um, I am running out of cells though, so I've got to start looking for some more. Now I've also reached out to the Plug Me In project. Now the Plug Me In project is a fellow from uh, Sweden, I believe, and he's travelling around the world in an electric car, and he's looking for people's homes to stay at and plug him in. So I've offered bed, food, and electricity, and hopefully he can come here and charge from my DIY power wall, the one that's actually running, not this one on the 240 volt. Ah, uh, that warrants my house, 40 kilowatt hour one, as it turns out. Hey, that means I've got 50 kilowatt hours in service. Yeah, get in. So that's happening. Uh, nothing much more. I am trying to go lithium um, from lead in a little electric scooter. Now I've overvolted this by 5 volts and the charger, the, the what do you call it, the little silver thing down that end, um, the controller doesn't seem to like it. It does get up and go alright, but not what I expected. I expected some sort of land speed record when I put lithium in there, but you know, I might not get a land speed record, but I'll get a distance record with those cells, I reckon, even though they might have something that we all don't like in there. <laughs> I did try a 7S setup, and it was okay, but no faster than those two little 9 amp hour lead batteries. So then I went to uh, another S, so I got 8S. Uh, the only thing I can notice is when I hit the throttle, sometimes the motor kicks in and sometimes it doesn't i don't know whether that's the controller saying there's too much amps or watts or whatever i don't understand it i'm just putting it in there and hoping like hell um obviously it's not electrical is safe yet and i've got to work on that but there's no use doing that until i work out whether it's going to work so there we go tubers that's an update the second wall plug me in dc charging no more ac charging and testing cells to be honest i should have done that a long time ago and a scooter and i still haven't done that scooter yet but I'll get there. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See ya.